I'm Donna Proctor. I'm the executive director at the Cherokee Pregnancy Center Options Medical. Yes, our, our mission is to um, see girls and guys when they're faced with an unplanned pregnancy. Sometimes they don't have anybody that they can actually go and talk with about the situation. So we're here for them to give them a safe place to come and we share information with them to help them make an informed decision as far as um, the pregnancy. The Earn While You Learn program, the girl can come from the time she's pregnant till the baby's 18 months old and she can come every two weeks. Um, the father can come also and um, even if the mother doesn't take part in that, the father can even take part in that on his own. We've had one, one dad that went through um, without the mother coming, so it's, it's available to the father and the The first mother. room where y'all came in is where they fill out their basic information, like their address, phone number, and all that, and then we bring them in here until the nurse comes and gets them. And if the other <laughs> mother come, they meet one-on-one -on -one with a mentor, and they're able to just discuss questions they may have about parenting or um, any concerns that they have, and that mentor's there to guide them and, and be a support system to them throughout the pregnancy. Most of the girls that come here, they want a pregnancy test. So we offer free pregnancy tests. We offer limited ultrasound. We offer um, parenting programs for the guys and the girls that help them better um, prepare as parents and um, to be better equipped when they do have the child that they are they feel confident in what they're doing as parents. This is the ultrasound room where we get to see the baby for the first time and get to show them their baby. and. Um, we were able to purchase the new ultrasound machine last year um, after the banquet, so we're able to stay up to date medically that way. When they come to the father-mother program, they can earn bucks to be able to shop in our baby store that we have, that we have anything that they'll need to be able to take care of that. Do child. video lessons, um, discussion lessons, but it just helps them be better prepared as parents. And then they're able to earn bucks when they come to those classes and they come in here and can buy what they need to take care of their baby. Um, it's been a blessing to see guys they get excited we had one girl that came in she was a, almost finishing college and when she came in she um didn't want to disappoint her parents her parents had just told her how proud they were of her and and how she was making good decisions and um she found out two weeks later that she may be pregnant so when she came in she was very upset she didn't want to tell her parents that she was pregnant so her um, decision that she had when she came in here that she was leaning toward was abortion because um, she didn't know how she was going to finish school and, um, you know, go on with her life like she wanted to. So she came in, she was upset, she was crying. She brought the father of the baby. Um, he did not want her to have an abortion. And um, many times the father's voice is the bigger influential in her decision more than anything. Um, so we always, you know, try to encourage the fathers to, to speak up because a lot of times they don't. Um, but when she came in, she did the pregnancy test. She was pregnant. Um, she left very upset. She came back for her ultrasound. She brought a friend with her from school. Cried the whole time she had the ultrasound. Um, just, you know, sad. And when she left, she called back that day. She wanted to know if she was still wanting to do an abortion, what did she do? And we don't refer for abortions. So um, Brenda just told her to, to think about it, you know, take her time, not to rush into any decision, and um, just, just think about it. So um, I, we're, we're a faith-based ministry, so we pray. We believe in the power of prayer. We believe that God can reach people outside of these walls after they leave here. So we were praying. The board was praying. All the volunteers was praying for her. Um, she came back by, it was a couple weeks later, and um, asked for her pictures. We always tell the girl, we're going to keep you pictures if you ever want, you know, pictures. They're here with your name on it. So she came back. She wanted those pictures. And um, come to find out, she had told her mom um, they were disappointed, but she came and um, she chose to, to, to parent the baby. She came to the Earn While You Learn program and um, she finished college. She married the guy. They got married and um, they bought their first house last year. The baby's three years old now, a mm -hmm. little girl. So um, we get to see her. She brings her back by, but just the joy that was in her face the next time that she came in. Brenda did another ultrasound for her. And she was able to bring the father of the baby and the two girls. Life valuable. And it's valuable because God created that life. And um, there's a purpose for that life. God never makes mistakes. Um, if he's created a life, there's a there's a reason for that. And he'll, he'll watch over and guide you know, whether it's adoption or 
um, parenting or, or, or what choice, you know, that baby, that baby's life means something. And so we believe that um, every life is valuable. Um, we operate by, solely on um, individual donors, churches, a few of corporate grants that are local, but we don't have any government funding at all. And, and uh, it's just individual donors mostly, but um, we do a campaign, it's called Baby Bottle Campaign, where we give out baby bottles to churches on Mother's Day and they bring them back Father's Day and that's one of our biggest fundraisers and then the second um, biggest fundraiser is the banquet is our two main fundraisers that keep us operating our banquet the um, you can we have sponsorship for tables or individual seats that um, people can purchase and come and be a part of that we have many um, volunteers that come and help um, help us with the organization they can meet with clients or they can help do mail-ins or Count baby bottles when it's time to do that. Um, to organize the baby store and just go through donations that come in. This is a volunteer mm -hmm. work group. We do a lot of paperwork and when we're doing the baby bottles, we count the money in there and then um, do brochures and stuff. It's just the work money for the volunteers. We do love volunteers and we couldn't operate and do what we do if it wasn't for the uh, volunteers. We're located at 1719 Old Georgia Highway. Um, our hours are Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m.